there, I'm Black Bright, broadcasting out the UK around the world, and I was sent a video today um, regarding water. Water. Something as basic as water. Someone has made a machine that will provide free water, and, um, and he's created it in a community where they don't have to pay. And what's happened is that somebody has damaged the equipment because they do not want um, that particular area to have free water. Now, they're saying it's not sabotaged by um, your regular vandals. It's something a bit deeper than that. But I wanted to, um, before I showed you the video, I just wanted to give you a little bit about why the possibility behind um, sabotaging this gentleman's invention. It's in America. Okay, and um, water security has been defined as the reliable availability of an acceptable quantity. And I put underline that acceptable quantity and quality of water for health, livelihoods and production, coupled with an acceptable level of water related risks. Now, I don't know if it's because he can produce gallons and gallons of water for free why somebody has put a stop to it but they reckon that what he's doing is really dangerous because it's taking money out of certain people's pockets. Um, I just want to give a little background. Um, water covers 70% of our planet and it is easy to think that it will always be plentiful. However, fresh water, the stuff we drink, bathe in, irrigate our farm fields with, is incredibly rare, we're informed. Apparently 3% of the world's water is fresh water and two thirds of that is tucked away in frozen glaciers or otherwise unavailable for our use. As a result, some 1.1 billion people worldwide lack access to water and a total of 2.7 billion find water scarce for at least one month of the year. So I believe that this gentleman, when I show you, he should be in these kind of places where they won't feel threatened and where um, he will be appreciated or, well, the system will be appreciated. Uh, climate change is altering patterns of weather and water around the world, causing shortages and droughts in some areas and floods in others. So this is where this gadget would come in very handy. So... Um, I'll read the, I'm going to show you the video now and I'll just read the rest after I've um, shown it to you. Come on. It was working a minute ago. What's wrong with it now? Oh, it's not typical. Sorry about this. It's disappeared. Okay. <laughs> that's a brother that's a army veteran. His name is Moses West. Now this brother has designed a machine that can make water out of thin air. And I want you to hear what happened with this particular machine about the people that went to vandalize this machine. Listen to the sophistication of what they were doing to try to ruin this machine. Let's go ahead and roll that clip. They drained fuel. Uh, they added something to the coolant lines. They played with the electronics. And that's not typical vandal stuff. Less than a week after bringing free water to Flint, Moses West says the green machine he designed to do just that was vandalized. Once they broke into the machine and uh, uh, they destroyed the, the generator, very technical, they knew what they were doing. It wasn't just, you know, random vandalism, not at all. Uh, they destroyed the battery, uh, they put metal in the fuel system. I saw that when I was cleaning the fuel filter. West is a military veteran who travels across the country to areas in crisis, bringing a machine he designed, like this one, that literally makes fresh water out of thin air. He put the green machine out for people along Saginaw Street on Thursday and was hoping to make a big impact. 
He says before the vandalism, they were giving hundreds of people free water every day. You gotta look at, uh, I'm making anywhere from 1,200 to 2,000 gallons of water a day. You're giving away for free. That's a, that's, that's a lot of, that's a lot of money out of somebody's pocket someplace. West says that he can only speculate as to why someone will try and destroy something that was just trying to help the community. West says he hopes to have the green machine back open and working again soon, with some anti-vandalism features added as well. It actually sits in the air. I set it on the ground because it was, the ground was a little bit unstable for it to sit on the legs, but now I've got all support for the legs. All 21,000 pounds of it will sit up in the air and make it uh, harder for people to get to the do devious things to the machine. So as you heard, what happened to that machine was not no just everyday criminal coming around to vandalize something. That was those folks. Okay? This man is producing 1,000 to 2,000 gallons of water a day. Basically, you're living off of the grid type of things. This country do not like people, no matter who they are, living off of the grid. You're producing your own water. You're producing your own electricity. You're producing your own gas. I mean, they have laws in different states where you can't even collect rainwater and use it. I'm not making that up. Rainwater. They come from the sky that God provides. They try to tell you that because that's, once again, living off of the grid. They don't like that. Because... In this country, everybody has to be controlled. And living off of the grid, you're not being controlled. Like, they can't just shut off your lights if your lights is off the grid. They can't shut off your water if your water is off the grid. You understand? If your telecommunications is off the grid, they can't shut that off. They can't track you. They can't do any of that. You understand? So, anybody that comes up with something like that, and he's giving it away for free. Now, what he's sitting on, the technology he's sitting on, it's worth billions, if not trillions of dollars. You coming up with water like that a day, and you're not trying to make a dime off of it, you just want to give it to people? These people would love to buy that technology from him. And I'm pretty sure they have asked him many times, hey, could you sell it? I'm pretty sure they threw some big numbers at it. Many times someone come up with something that they can not only live off of the grid, but get rid of fossil fuels, etc., Something happens to the person if they don't want to sell. And when it comes to this brother, the first time they're going to try to vandalize it. The second time around, they may try to come after him. That's just the way they work in this country. You think about it. 2,000 gallons of water the city didn't make money off of. These water companies didn't make off of selling that water. Oh, no, he is a major threat to their bottom dollar, and they will kill for that. They will kill for it. You understand that. You gotta understand the country you live in. If this brother see this video, brother, listen. Take that technology to Africa. Take it there. They really could use it as well. Take it there. Teach the Africans in different countries how to set that system up. So they can help themselves. Because that would revolutionize the continent in many, many ways. You probably produce more water over there because the air is cleaner than the air here in the United States of America. But this brother has done something that's just genius. It's genius what this brother done. And black folks have innovated America well over hundreds and hundreds of years and get no credit for it. Instead of using this brother's invention to help people all over the world, no, they want to destroy it. Because that's a threat to their bottom line of making a dollar. That is sick. And like I say, this is a veteran. They don't respect veterans that are black. Well, they don't respect white ones either. But for sure they don't respect this one. This man should be plastered all over CNN, MSNBC. He should be front page news. I mean, his invention should be something that just America won't stop talking about. But yet, yeah, they don't talk about it. They don't say nothing about it. I mean, this is something that's revolutionary for the world. And they don't even want to mention it. They don't. Because they didn't create it. And they're not in control of it. 
Because if they created and they were control of it, they'd be looking at, oh, look, American ingenuity, American this, American that. This brother's American. Why don't you put him up on, on Front Street? Well, why is uh, uh, Trump not calling and, and talking to him about how, how great this invention is for America? You know what I'm saying? They're not going to do that at all because they can't fool with it. If they're not in control of it and they're not making money off of it, then there's nothing to be paid attention to. But we as black folks need to celebrate this brother. We need to celebrate him for making a difference and helping people. And this brother, like I say, could have sold this technology and been mega rich. And I know he would have paid him the money. Whatever he wanted. As long as they can control the water. These people knew exactly what they was doing. You heard what he said they were doing. How they, how they messed up everything. That brother better get him some dogs. So you let the, who's no coming by the next time. You need, definitely need some cameras out there with night vision. Get that. And some fencing. Get all that. And then you had to have some people around that could possibly be armed guards. Because, hey, that kind of technology needs to be protected. It can't just be out in the open like that. Especially with these evil people running around. Well, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about our brother who created an invention of making water out of thin air. Like I said, this can revolutionize the world. This man needs to be... Well, I think it's absolutely fantastic. But I just kind of... Well, I kind of support that because one of the reasons why they might not want to promote free water is because... You know how the government is. They like to scaremonger a lot of the time. So on the 17th of January, scientists downloaded fresh data from a pair of NASA satellites and distributed the findings among the small group of researchers who track the world's water reserves. At the University of California, Irvine, hydrologist James Bamigeletti looked over the data from the gravity-sensing grey satellite with rising sense of dread. The data release showed California on the verge of an epic drought, with its backup systems of groundwater reserves so run down that the losses could be picked up by satellites orbiting 400 km kilometres above the Earth's surface. It was definitely an oh-my-gosh moment, Bamir Leggetti said. The groundwater is our strategic reserve, it's our backup. And so where do you go when the backup is gone? So it looks like they'll have us believe in lack, but as that video shows you, he can produce gallons of water for free. But this veteran is proving that there is no lack and no reason to fear. Water on its own is unlikely to bring down governments, but the report warned that shortages could threaten food production and energy supply and put additional stress on governments struggling with poverty and social tensions. So this video featuring this man poses a threat to government's plan, so hopefully raising awareness, which is why I'm showing it to you, will protect him from becoming a victim of suspicious circumstances if it does go viral. Um, incidentally, how many of you have gone into a restaurant and asked for tap water? I mean, a lot of people do it believing that it should be free, but it's not necessarily free, even though it's from the tap. It's a common misconception that you're automatically entitled to free drinking water, but actually only licensed establishments, those that serve alcohol in England, Wales and Scotland, must provide it. That's tap water for free. According to the Licensing Act 2003 Mandatory Licensing Conditions Order 2010, which came into force in April 2010 and was updated in 2014, all restaurants in England and Wales that serve alcohol are legally required to give customers free tap water. The legislation for Scotland is the same, but it's a different act. Those that don't are under no obligation to do so. So if they don't sell alcohol, they don't have to give you tap water for free. In practice, of course, most restaurants do serve alcohol, so you'll usually be able to get free tap water, but it's not guaranteed. 
Also, bear in mind these rules apply to paying customers. So the chances are you could be refused if you don't buy anything. So I added that in because you can't take water for granted. And I hope this guy wises up and takes his machine where it will be appreciated and where he'll feel valued. And I hope you find it useful. Your comments would be appreciated. Thanks as usual for your support and your feedback. Bye bye.